Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily set up your Google Merchant Center account and attach it to your products to help get you on the Google network and start selling your products easily. All right, let's get right into it. Type in Google Merchant Center in Google and go to this URL. I'll put this in the description down below as well. Go here and start now. It'll push you to this little questionnaire and start filling it out. Once you get through that step, start putting in your business name, make sure the country's correct, and then continue to Merchant Center. So when you first get in here, it'll show you everything you can do here. I highly recommend going through all of these and either adding, verifying, or confirming. So adding this information is really easy to do. It's just simply things like business address, adding shipping and your return information. And having this in helps Google Merchant Center understand your site a bit more. And then now you can go into adding your products. So you could always add products one by one, but I highly recommend adding in your products from like a file or attaching it through your store. There's many different types of stores that could be watching this video. These products are on a WooCommerce store. And typically these WooCommerce, Shopify, Wix, Squarespace, whatever you're using has some kind of third party integration in their own platform that can easily integrate between Google Merchant Center and in this case for WordPress, it's WooCommerce to automatically create those product feeds. So you can always do it this way and you could always do the Google Sheets template way. This Google Sheets method could be a bit easier to do because it gives you the exact columns that you need, but filling this information in can also be really tedious, especially if you're not able to automatically pull this kind of data. So I highly recommend finding the product feed from your own website. So in this case, all of our products are in WordPress. So I could export all these products and try to put in all the proper columns and feed that information into this Google Merchant Center Google Sheet but I know the way faster way to do this with WordPress is to go into your plugins and go add new plugin and add the one for Google Merchant Center. So if you're using Wix, there's something for marketing integration section, and that's an easy place that you can just integrate your Merchant Center to your Wix and it'll automatically create the product feed. Squarespace, Shopify have very similar things as well. Shopify is probably the easiest one to integrate a product feed into Google Merchant Center, but for WooCommerce, do the Google for WooCommerce one. Going into Google for WooCommerce has a get started button and you can attach your Google account. And then once you connect your Google account, you'll have a section for Google ads and Google Merchant Center. You can just go into the list and make sure it's the correct one. And it'll only show up if it's attached to your Google account here. So simply go connect. Now you'll see that this Google Merchant Center is attached here. And if you have a Google Ads account, go into here too and connect that. So go connect. And if you don't have one, you can simply create a Google Ads account here as well. This plugin requires it for the next step. So just go do that. And this tool pretty much sets up your Google Merchant Center for you. And now after following the steps in the plugin, it created this product feed for me. And these products are based on the products in WooCommerce's product section. Then you can go into here and add in all these little like attributes and things like that. So those integration tools are really handy to do. And as it creates this product feed, it'll take some time for Google's Merchant Center to approve or disapprove your products. And if you have a product that's disapproved, go into it and see why. So coming back out of WooCommerce and going into Google Merchant Center now, you can see that all these products are here. It's a very new store, so these products aren't really robust in the product data that it has. And this is a product that's regarded as shaft because it's in firearms. So there's a lot of reasons why things here would get not approved. You can go into all these listings and see why they're not approved and then go fix it. So currently this is saying that there's an error here, but it's actually because the image hasn't ported over from the WooCommerce product feed yet. So I'm going to have to wait probably 24 or 48 hours and I'll come back to this. The more you build out your store with products, with categories and tags and all the attributes involving with it will help build out a more robust Google Merchant Center to help your products get served to the right people on Google's network. So do these steps right and you'll end up finding your product up here at the top of Google's all results or in Google's shopping section. This digital real estate is very valuable. Shopping campaigns tend to perform very well online. So I highly suggest trying this out. All right, that's it from me. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like to tell YouTube it's a good video so it can be shown to more people like yourself. And please subscribe to our channel to see more great digital marketing tutorials just like this. All right, have a great day, everyone.